What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Dead Funny Podcast. I'm your host, Chris. Joining today is my co-host, Kelsey. Hello. Chris, I have a thing to tell you about. Holy shit, that was right out of the gate. All right, it hit me. I know. I had I no idea. If I don't tell you immediately, you go on some tangent, and I, I never do. Get to say anything. So I do. I have a thing to tell you. Fill the so, empty space. I have <laughs> found a group on Facebook that is full of pictures of angry animals, and it's amazing. Amazing! I am a person that loves reptiles and stuff like that. I love I love dogs and cats and all that jazz too. But like love for reptiles is much more rare in the world. I mentioned like my husband and I have geckos and people are like, oh, oh, are you are you cold hearted? Are you incapable of understanding other people and their emotions? Is that why you're attracted to reptiles? And I'm like, no, <laughs> like they're fucking cute. And a bunch of the ones that are like on this group of, on Facebook, a bunch of the videos are little baby reptiles. Like they come out of the egg and they are immediately mad at the world. And so mm. this little two gram gecko is shredded around like, <gasps> and it's like, you are two grams. You cannot take on a 145 pound person, but the geckos are just so cute. Mm. And the little danger noodles that are just, just full of so much rage. They're just, Oh, I love them. And it's been bringing me great joy in this time of isolation at home. It's just Apparently. to see these very, very angry animals <laughs> as they are mad at the world. And it is super cute. And that oh, is my thing apparently. to tell you. All right. <laughs> Go you. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I don't have an issue with reptiles. I actually want to get me a baby chameleon. I want one of those real bad. Really bad. Chameleons are really cute. I love... Have you ever seen any of the videos of people pouring water in front of chameleons? Mm -mm. So chameleons, um, they have... They kind of do the little Spock thing naturally. Mm -hmm. And when they see running water, they don't process that it's running water. They think that it's a stem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen that. Yeah, and they try to grab it. Yeah. And then, like, you, the first time they miss, miss it, you watch their eyes, like, laser in, like, hey, fucking, mm -hmm. excuse me, I grabbed you. And then they do it again, and you can see them just, like... What is this? Yeah. It's amazing. I love it. Yeah, I want a baby gecko bad, but uh, I also, I so so with me with the reptile aspect. So I'm not I'm not a big frog fan by any by any stretch of the means. Like I, I would never really care to have like a frog. Why? I just I, frogs are really fucking slimy, man. Like I just ugh, I I just I don't really care. Oh, for frogs you that you much literally anymore. mean like specifically frogs? Like you don't have an issue with toads, which are naturally dry. You have an issue with frogs that are slimy. Right, right. The whole slimy aspect. Oh, like okay. I would never own a frog. I probably honestly would never own a toad either as a pet, personally. Just I don't know. I just I, I just don't think that they make great pets. But there are two of them out there that I do actually want as a pet. <clears throat> And one is the fucking desert rain frog or whatever, the, or desert sand frog or whatever the fuck it is. I can't remember what the actual name of it is, but it's that one where, like, they use the fucking, like, slime and shit they have on them where, like, they cover themselves in, like, sand. And then they let out that high-pitched fucking squeak. Yes. Yep. I want one of those yeah. so bad. And I didn't do the research on this other one, so I'm hoping I see the video again at some time. I don't know I, even close to what kind of fucking frog it is. But it's a little bit bigger. And it's fatter and green, and like whenever you touch it, it actually screams and it runs. So like it, it didn't hop; it literally ran forward for like a solid two minutes, and all they did was like barely pat it on top of the head. And it opens its mouth wide and just screams and then <laughs> runs. And we're not talking like yips; no, it is like a solid like ah, and it just runs. It was fucking hilarious. I was like, I want both of those and i just want them like oh. freaking out at each other you know what i mean like the little one's puffing up and then letting out those fucking things and the other one just takes off running and fucking screams oh my gosh well, that would be great that is that's a lot of comedy right there right that right itself that's incredible <laughs> so that's what happens to oh. me whenever i think about like actual like fucking reptiles and shit like that's the kind of shit that i want versus the chameleons is random like i just I, I like chameleons they look fucking awesome baby chameleons are fucking amazing so <clears throat> so cute and they're the chameleons are fairly interactive a lot of people have the impression that chameleons can change their color completely like doesn't matter what they're in front of they can this they'll make it happen that's cuttlefish cuttlefish can pretty much change mm -hmm. their color to anything that they want to or even some squids but chameleons like they have like usually it's two colors so it may be purple and green and the next one may be blue and green and the next one may be red and purple but they really have only two colors so 
sometimes three that they can switch between and their patterning usually stays the same within those colors oh. but they're so interesting and they're so cute and people that believe that geckos and stuff like that don't have a personality in my opinion have not spent any time oh with yeah gecko. for sure because I have two, and one of them is hella friendly, and will get mad at us if we don't take him out often enough. And we'll like, he, he the other day this happened because we were just crazy busy, and I went in to feed him, and he literally leapt out to spend time with me. Like he leapt onto my hand. He's like, no, you're not going anywhere. Hang out with me. And then I have another one that's more like, not interested. I will hang out with you if I have to, but only if I have to. I'm perfectly mm. fine on my own. Thanks. Fuck off. Give me a cricket. Like. There you go. They're wonderful. There you go. I yeah, will never um, understand why people don't like them. They're wrong. So, one pet that I've always told myself that I never want, because some of those, the, the, that will never change. Like, like fucking ferrets, for instance. I, I fucking hate ferrets. My aunt had, like, fucking 20 goddamn ferrets, and those fucking things smell terrible 24-7. Fuck ferrets. Ooh. Ugh. But I have a horror story with ferrets <laughs> that I will not tell on air, but I will tell you at some point behind the scenes. There we go. But, um... Another pet that I've never really wanted is birds. Like, I've never really wanted a bird. But just recently, and solely for this one reason only, do I want this fucking bird. And it's a fucking... I I don't know my birds, so fucking excuse me. But So we're just going to be kind of like on a lame aspect here. But a parrot. But it was one of the the, the all yellow ones. I I don't know what fucking subspecies of parrot that is, but it's like the yellow one's like a fucking, I don't know if it's like a cockatoo or I I don't know what the fuck they are. I don't know my goddamn birds. Anyways, someone had one. You're describing a a lot right now, so keep going. So I saw this video of this person that had one and like they literally just did like they snapped their fingers like, you know, start like a tempo. And then the fucking parrot just took it from there and it literally did the entire Chocobo song. It was da da na 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 na. I was like, no fucking way! Yes, ah, totally want one just for that, just for That's that. That's adorable. Golden parrot ever... doing the golden chocobo that... song. Let's get it. <clears throat> that a that totally makes sense. I now see why you're because any anything for you just needs to be branded Final Fantasy Seven. Oh, That's... for sure. Have you seen the video of the um, you know the song "Let the Bodies Hit the Floor"? Mm-hmm. Have you seen this? A parrot sing, let the bodies hit the floor. I think I have, honestly. That sounds it's very fucking, fucking familiar. amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have, because I actually had a conversation with somebody where it's like, you fucking have a friend come over, and they fucking pass out drunk, and they didn't know you had it, and then they like wake up at like 3 o'clock in the morning to the parrot doing the, let the bodies hit the floor. Like, that would fucking be hilarious, dude. You'd freak somebody the fuck out. <clears throat> like, oh well, I'm God, out of here. The way that that parrot does the like that scream. Oh, the f- yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so good. That God. Every now and then I go find that video just to be like, "Yep, I'm perfectly happy being on this planet." <laughs> 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 Things like that. Oh man, it's fucking crazy. Ah, <sighs> pets, pets, pets. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. I like them. I think one of my favorite pets over all time that I've ever had was a turtle. I liked my turtle. What kind of turtle did you have? I had a box turtle. Neat. Yeah. And one time we had those okay. small little itty bitty turtles that are fucking just swimming around aquariums. I can't remember what the fuck. It, it, it wasn't mine. It was my brother's and it was, he called him Bowser. So. Oh, cute. It's adorable. Oh. I named mine Link. And then I got a dog. Oh, and my grandpa was like, what are you going to name it? And I was like, well, I'm going to name it Link. And he goes, yeah, but your turtle was named Link. And I was like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Because <laughs> I wanted to name a dog Link. It's like, yeah, you did. And I was like, no, I named him Speedy. What are you talking about? <laughs> I just oh ran- randomly pulled the first name I could think of. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know somebody who every single dog they've ever had is Nuke. Just all of their dogs are Nuke. Doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. And they'll they'll have, like, different second names. So technically it's a different Nuke, but they just call him Nuke. Mm-hmm. Every single dog. And I'm like, that's... I mean, it works. This person's also kind of getting up there in years, so they're never going to be confused about what their dog's name is. But Mm -hmm. to me, that feels a little bit bad because every time a dog dies, they just replace it with a brand new dog of the exact same breed. Mm -hmm. So it, I don't know. I don't like it, but I I only don't like it because it doesn't feel good. (laughs) That's fair. It doesn't feel like each dog's being treated as its only unique thing. That's fair. 
Yeah, I with those crazy videos though, I'll say one that got me uh, really bad recently, and it just makes me so happy to watch them. Is fucking turtles eating fruit? It's so fucking hilarious watching it's them so eat cute. fruit. It's so great. It's so great, and they look so happy. I was watching this one eating. Uh, I think it was a passion fruit, and like by the time he's done, he's got like fruit chunks like all over his face. Yep. <laughs> he's just sitting there, just fucking satisfied, just sitting there over the fucking fruit he just devoured. Oh man! And I saw one where it was like a whole bunch of strawberries. And it was like four turtles, and like this one literally like climbed the mountain of strawberries and then laid on them, and then was eating the strawberries all the way on the other side, so that way none of the other turtles could have any. And I was like, that guy right there, he knows what's yeah, up. Yeah, I was gonna say that's you as a turtle. Um. He knows what's up. <laughs> he was cracking me up. I love the prep time too when you see a turtle like they eye up the strawberry oh yeah walk up to it and they like rear their head back and you can see them like prep 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 snap Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's just it's just clearly an ancient brain and an ancient animal trying to process like the joy of a berry and I love it (laughs) it is it is oh man those things crack me the fuck up I saw a video today where it's like this turtle was just having the fucking best of times in the fucking water. He was, like, upside down. There was one part where it looked like he was, like, falling. Like, he literally had, like, his tail towards the fucking bottom, like if someone was falling into the water. And it was, like, what it would look like if a turtle could get drunk. And he was just, like, all over the fucking place. And I was like, he is just enjoying himself today. <laughs> like, fuck it. I'm on camera. That's amazing. Oh, man. It was pretty fucking great. It was pretty great. One time when my husband and I were out kayaking. Mm-hmm. So where I where I grew up, we went kayaking all the time, but the turtles either didn't recognize that we were people or they weren't afraid with uh, afraid of us. So I could get in my kayak like real close up to where they were and just kind of look at them and be like, hey dudes, how you doing? And they'd just stare at me and I'd stare at them and our little reptilian brains would understand each other. And I'd wander off and do my own thing. But here when we go kayaking, these turtles are afraid of us. They will not let us anywhere near them. Like the moment I sight one, it's gone. I'm just like, damn it. And turtles are my husband's favorite thing in the whole world. Like without question, what part of our honeymoon, we just sat sitting on a beach counting sea turtles that were going by us. We got over 50 before finally I was like, I, we, we've spent hours here. We have to go do something else. And my husband's like, but there's more. And I'm like, yeah, but we've seen 50. <laughs> like, we're doing pretty good. Yeah. And... But these turtles here, they, they recognize us and they dash away. But what I didn't know is that if you make a turtle, like, wander off its log because you get too close, and to be clear, we're, we're far away from these turtles. We're not mm-hmm. close. But if you get too close, they'll fall off their log, and then apparently they'll just, like, sit just underwater and stick their teeny tiny heads out and, like, watch you until you go far enough away, and then they'll get back on their log. Mm-hmm. And so my husband and I are paddling over. We see them jump in, and we're like, damn it. And then we wait just a second, and my husband was like, no, that's it right there. And as we just see these little sticks that are kind of going against the current, and then all of a sudden they disappear, and then they pop up somewhere else, and they're going against the current mm-hmm. watching us. And so it has turned into, like, turtle watching game of who can spot them first whenever we go out kayaking which i absolutely love there you go there you go it's the way to do it it's definitely the way to do it yeah turtles are great yeah so that'd be the only other kind of like pet that i think i'd be okay with getting the turtle other than that like i don't know dogs and cats they're all too much work all pets are too much work honestly our geckos, one of the reasons we have the geckos that we have is because they require the temperature to be between 65 and 85, which is already where I, as a human being, am most comfortable. And they they don't need attention. They eat paste, so nothing smells. And they need to be misted once a day. That is the hardest part of it. So if we leave them for a weekend, they don't mind. And it's really easy to get people to take care of them. One of the pets my husband and I both want, we both want a snake. But everybody around us has been very clear, like, we'll take care of your gecko, but we are not fucking taking care of a snake. Yeah, and we're like, what if it's a nice snake? What if he doesn't, like, bite anything? What if he's not dangerous or poisonous? And they're like, doesn't matter. I don't care if it's venomous. I'm not fucking, eat, like, taking care of it. So That's fair. we want one, but we will not get a snake anytime soon. That's fair. Yeah, fuck snakes. No! I've had nothing but bad run-ins with snakes. You are wrong. I've had nothing but bad run-ins with snakes. I hate snakes. So well, much. maybe you're the asshole. That's possible. Ever think of that? That is quite possible. <clears throat> that, is, that, is, that is very possible. Yeah, fuck snakes. I gotta say, the closest I think I ever came to dying from a snake was the day I ran over a 
Copperhead with my fucking lawnmower. Didn't even know it was there. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. no, that might do it. Yeah, that's Texas for you. <laughs> Just mowing your lawn. <laughs> oh, there goes a the snake. Fucking Copperhead. All right, well, there's that. That was cool. So. I saw a video of somebody motorcycling in... Um... In India, and the snake actually came out and jumped at the motorcycle. Tried to like bite the guy while he was motorcycling by. Mm. I was like, "What kind of ballsy snake thinks he's gonna take down a 150 pound man on a motorcycle?" Like, damn, that snake's got goals. Yeah, they just do what the fuck they want. Honestly, yeah, uh, that that'd be one that I never get. Or spiders. I'll never get a spider either. I just, I don't see the point. I'm just, yeah, I don't see the point. I could get a tarantula, but I think it's <clears throat> unlikely. Yeah, I just, yeah, like I said, I just don't see the point. It's never happened. It's like, no. Mm -mm. Why? I just, I don't. What's wrong with that? It just doesn't, it's not a pet to me. It's just not. Other Tarantulas people can have those. Very interactive. Other people can have those, and they could be their pets. That's fine to me. It's just not a pet. It's, it's like, I had kids, and they're like, hey, I want a tarantula. No, no. You can see spiders when you go outside to play. Don't play with them, but you can see spiders when you go outside to play. <laughs> like, and that kid like, asks for it. Fuck that. Same. I think we'll be on a one-way trip outside. See you. Gone. <clears throat> you don't want to introduce a tarantula to your native ecosystem. Don't do that. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yes, you do. It's out of, out of my house, not my problem. <laughs> Out of sight, out of mind. That will be the last time I ever think about that fucking thing. Like, all right, well, back to Final Fantasy. <laughs> and your kid's sobbing in the corner because you got rid of its beloved pet. God damn you right. You monster. God damn right. Oh, man. It's actually funny. So we were talking about D&D &D before we started recording and, and certain campaigns and stuff like that. And that's actually something that I think is really cool is whenever, like, RPG games and stuff like that really pay homage to D&D, &D, since, you know, it is basically the fucking godfather of all RPG games. Um, fucking Final Fantasy 1, hardcore. I mean, obviously we already know about Bahamut, you know, but, I mean, in the originals he's actually known as the Dragon God, which I thought that was pretty cool. And then I actually just got through fighting uh, Tiamat, the fucking multi-headed dragon as well, which is another god from fucking D&D. Uh, &D. I was like, oh, that's pretty awesome. Like just so it sounds like Final Fantasy it. just ripped off D&D. &D. <laughs> eh, I don't know if I go that far, but a bit of homage. I shit. would. <clears throat> I just like the aspect of, like, last night I was playing and uh, a couple people were fucking watching me and they're all like, this is the first game that started the lie. The first game. The Final Fantasy. But it wasn't the final one, was it? <laughs> it's like, nope. <laughs> it has gone on and on and on and on for a while. Oh, man. It's really fucking crazy. I didn't beat Spider-Man, by the way. I figured I should go and throw that out there before the timer ran out. I'm pretty oh, no. sure I'm, like, right at the fucking end. I am almost 100%. Oh, I even oh. stopped doing, like, all the side shit just to try uh -huh. to beat it in that time frame. I mean, to be fair, I went away that weekend, which, you know, probably shouldn't done because okay, then did I that could to have. Yeah. Eh, it was kind of one of those, like, the girlfriend is going to visit the in-laws, so then it's kind of like a you kind of have to go type situation. So it was like, eh, yeah. I don't know if it's fair I to say I, I did it to myself. Ah, uh, you did it to yourself. Like, you did it to yourself, mm. but that doesn't mean that you're, like, you're a bad person for that. Mm. Mm. I'd be well, a bad person if I would have just, like, said. brought my fucking PlayStation and just fucking played Spider-Man the entire time I was there. Oh, no, you made the right call, but still, like, you went away. <sighs> I know, I should have fucking just stayed and finished it. Ugh. No, no, you should not have. Yes, that was I the have. wrong call. That was, that's not the wrong not call. Not finishing Spider-Man was the right call. Ah, <sighs> I disagree. Spider-Man. Oh, my God. But... Family's gonna say this, and they're not gonna like you, and that's gonna be your fault. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it, that that kind of sucked though. I, I really wanted to finish the game, but I just I don't want to pay like. But the, here's the, the here's the problem with games that are free that go away. If you don't finish them, like I could easily sit down and be like, you know what? I got me a PlayStation now. I make good money. I got free money. You're not gonna go I can the easily. Whole game. Well, no, well, it still has my save progress. That's fine, but it's like. Yeah, cool. I'll fucking blow forty dollars on Spider Man because I fucking want to play Spider Man. 
But now it's hard for me to look at Spider-Man and be like, yeah, I'll blow $40 to be able to play it for like an hour and then beat the game. Like, it $40 doesn't sound worth it anymore. <laughs> like, now it's like $40 for an hour worth of gameplay. Sweet. Or I could just go watch like a five-minute YouTube video and see how it ends, you know? Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I will say this. If they give you like four hours, so you just enough for you to kind of like start getting into it, maybe four to seven, kind of figure it out and then shut you off or they add games to the fucking free network and they just don't take them off <laughs> like that there's that option as well like why you gotta be a dick about it like here you go here's a free game but it's gonna leave in like a month Fuck is you. it being a dick about it it is it's i don't, I don't it is because know. this one pertains to me so yes <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> this current situation I'm mad about this it is one, exactly so uh-huh. exactly 100 yeah. percent. that's why they're being a dick kelsey oh man it's good shit Just though. Just calling you on your shit while I can. Ugh. And it took Horizon off as well. That actually went off before Spider Man did, so I was like, Ooh, God damn so it. So you weren't gonna make it. Damn. It's such a good game. You're missing out. I still plan on playing it at some point. It's just now that it's not free, it's not above my my priority of of one hundred percent Final Fantasy Seven's remake, so yeah. Oh. Which I've been grinding that out recently too. I got my ass kicked by Leviathan. Did you ever beat Leviathan? Whenever you went through? Which one, which one was Leviathan? The, the fucking uh, materia f- that does, uh, is the water dragon. You wouldn't no. have got it. Okay, so it's after this. The, the, the Sector 7 plate falls is whenever you f- get to fight that one. <clears throat> whenever you're running back to Eret's house to see Marlene. And whenever you go to leave, you stop over there where the little kid normally is. He's there at night. Yeah. And you talk to him, and he's got Leviathan ready to go, and you fight Leviathan. And the original... Oh, I didn't talk to him then. Yeah. Is that the only time you can do it? Yeah, well, apparently you get Bahamut, too. I haven't seen that one yet, but I'm guessing that's at the end. Bahamut's one of them as well, so. Shit, yeah. Uh, I think I talked to him only a couple of times, because I only had Shiva and the Fat Chocobo. I never got any more of those. So I think I missed some opportunities to talk to him and get some more. Yeah, I actually oh, completed yeah, my I first. I level up all the materia. So, yeah, that's exactly what happened. That's yeah, on me. My first playthrough, I didn't do anybody but Shiva, and I didn't even get her. I just fought her once, and I was like, all right, well, I'll do that some other fucking time. And I just completely forgot about it. I literally didn't fucking do. And I was so bad at fucking doing the assess every time you go into a fucking battle that, like, every time I got to him, he was just like, you don't fucking help me at all. So. Um, why did you emphasize that? I don't ass know. I was just talking, and as I said it, I was like, I don't know why I did that, but yeah. I, was like, I think it was just wow. frustration with the fact that I didn't fucking do it, and it just came out without me, like, really uh, actually focusing on it. Where I was just like, ah, Seth! That fuck. <laughs> so. Because that didn't need emphasis, but okay. No, it didn't. But yeah, so. <sighs> Oh, and did I tell you that going back and playing the game, I actually disproved one of the theories that I had during the fucking review show? Oh, thank God. Which one? Uh, it, she actually did hear Marlene's name before. Um, but it was literally right fucking before, and it was in the train yard. I mean, I could see where some people would still make the connection that she just automatically knew. I still, at this point, I might think that might be reaching, but it's whenever you're in the ghost yard and they see the ghost of the little girl. Tifa goes, Marlene? And, like, starts walking towards it. So, mm-hmm. that kind of threw that theory out. Which, is, once again, that wasn't my theory. But I definitely was I on, on that hype train, for sure. 100%. I definitely was. I was like, oh, shit. So, I was 100% taken by that theory. I, for sure, thought that that one was correct. Which is weird, because it came from, like, a YouTuber I watch a lot. And he has not made a video where he has came back and said, oh, yeah, I was wrong about that. So, I'm kind of wondering, like, how many times he's actually played the fucking remake. Or maybe he just fucking forgot. I don't know. But still. Yeah, missed it because people are human. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I was playing it through and I was like, God damn it, Tifa. <laughs> you just blew my fucking theory clear out of the water. Shit. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> like, I was so mad at the game at that point. I was like, fuck! <laughs> I was like, I was wrong. <laughs> you got so deep into this rabbit hole that you I wanted the did. rabbit hole to be right. I did. There's just so much that without that being right, there's just so much that doesn't make sense. Like, it's going to kill me waiting for fucking part two. Uh, yeah, Scott hasn't fuck. started playing Final Fantasy VII Remake yet. He's had a couple games that actually took precedence. But I'm, I'm wondering 
how he's going to do with it because he never played the first one. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot that they don't explain and there's a lot that does not make sense if you don't know the whole story of the first game. So right. I'm wondering what he's going to think of it. I'm really waiting for him to, to play it and then I'll, I'll report back when he does and what he has to say. Right. Because that's one of the things that like fucking gets me is like the Zack situation. Not even the him being alive. But just the Zack situation out of general. Like if I didn't know the game. But who the fuck is this guy? Like, yeah. I don't even know who this Clearly is. A callback, but yeah. to who? To, to who? I don't even know who this care. fucking guy is. I, other than that, it'd be like, oh, wow, he's got Cloud Sword. Like, that's all I have to go off on. You know? And that's about it. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to yeah, wait. And I'm going to wait and hold my judgment because it is a multi, multi-piece. So it's, 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 it's like someone fucking giving you, like, a fucking pizza and you only trying, like, one ingredient out the pizza and be like, oh, this is shit. So you don't know yet. And just fucking shovel the whole thing in your mouth and then we'll see what you like after that, so. You know Tomb Raider Square Enix too, right? Yeah. I'm a Tomb Raider fan. I've played all the Tomb Raiders. <clears throat> oh, wait. I might not have played the last one. Or no, I don't think I beat the last one. But yeah, I'm a big I'm a big Tomb Raider fan. I love Tomb Raider. Lara Croft's the shit. Yep. She's Indeed. cool as fuck. I just started uh, Dead Funny University on that, actually. Oh, you did? Nice. There you yeah. Go. And I grabbed the, the last game, the last of the reboots, mm -hmm. and I hadn't actually played it yet, because when it came out, <laughs> my husband and I learned a lesson with Horizon that one of us needs to play and finish the game while the other one just, like, fucks off and does something else, and then we switch. Because oh, I yeah. tried to watch him play Horizon, and then when he wasn't around to play Horizon myself, and it was not fun, because I just watched the puzzles oh, get yeah, solved, and just sure. done it all myself, and I'm like, this is shit. That's what burnt and me so, out on The Last of Us. I watched somebody play that, and the worst part is, is Joey gave me his PlayStation 3 for free, because he was getting a new one, because his dish rate didn't work anymore, and the only game he had on there was digital download was Last of Us. And he's like, dude, you've got to let me know when you play it. And I let someone else play it, and I literally watched them play the entire game. And then no. I had zero want or need, and to this point, I still have not played The Last of Us. Yep, because you know you know everything. You've mm -hmm. seen everything done. It's, yeah. So, so I agree with when, that. 100%. When Tomb Raider came out, I... I fucked off and let him have that one and I haven't gotten back around to it until right now and I played it to have background footage for our Dead Funny University mm -hmm. and got into it so now Scott and I are fighting over the PS4 because he's playing The Last of Us 2 mm. <laughs> and I'm playing Tomb Raider <laughs> so <sighs> but I can't watch him play The Last of Us 2 because I need to go and play that as well so there you go Huh. There you go. Yeah, no, fucking Tomb Raider's awesome. I, I've been a Tomb Raider fan pretty much from the start. Um, yeah, goddamn, I love Tomb Raider. It's a really, really good series. Um, you know that the first Tomb Raider and Final Fantasy VII both got uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame, the Gamer, Game Hall of Fame, the same year? Yes, it did, mm -hmm. because you told me about it, because you were very cool. excited. I was. Two games to come from Square. Right, let's go. Sweet. Yeah. Was Square Enix on the first game? Yeah. I think they're only the reboots. I just meant fucking, uh, fucking it in general. I don't know who made the first one. Uh, core design out of England. Sure. Why not? I don't know. Watch who it is. the fucking DFU and you'll know the answer. <sighs> yeah, it would That's be. That's the meanest I've been to you in a long time. It would be extremely hard for me to go watch a DFU about a series I already know, <laughs> like. I love Lara Croft. I can honestly say this. I don't think I've went back and played a single game multiple times. I've played it, played them through to completion. I don't think I've ever went back and played the same Tomb Raider twice. <clears throat> but that was definitely one of those games where I go through, beat it, and then move on. Situations. Some games are like that. Same thing with Spider Man's. Besides Sh Shattered Dimensions, Shattered Dimensions is fucking amazing. But all the other Spider Man games, played them once, moved on. Boom, done. Game over. Thing. So that's your generic level of fanboy. It's just yeah, you I play it once, this. move on. Yeah, it was really good. It was awesome. Story is great. Characters were good. Graphics were alright. Moved on. Premise made sense. Yeah, some people, some people genuinely don't rise above that for like their thrill in anything. And that's as a very excitable person, I don't know how you can be that midwhelmed. Like you're just whelmed. You are neither overwhelmed nor underwhelmed. You are just. Yeah, no, that's unfortunate. That, that would that would suck. That's 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 very unfortunate. Mm, yeah, that would suck. 
Be excited, people. Get excited about things. There's got to be something. Doesn't out matter there. if you look ridiculous. Do it. There's got to be something out there. But yeah, no. Keep I mean, watching until you find that something. There's a couple things that are kind of like that for me, but then there's not. I'm trying to think of another game. Fucking just play once, move on. But then there's so many games where I do play multiple times, like Final Fantasy or Zelda or fucking. Ah, oh, I got a rumor told to me, and I don't know if it's true or not, but that Diablo 2 might be getting a remake. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. That would be a game. Did Diablo 1 get a remake? No. <laughs> no. Diablo 2 is getting a remake because of the fandom around Diablo 2. That's that's 100% uh -huh. why that's going to happen. And I'm so happy about that because that was the last time they actually had my favorite class in the Diablo series was Diablo 2. So I'm totally fucking down. That game started my urge for PC gaming. Hands down. 100%. Like, that set the bar for me for so many, like... RPG ish type games going forward, where it was like just because you realized what a Diablo. PC could do and how powerful it was. No, just how good the game was in general, and it was only mm. PC. So I would play games on the Xbox. I'm like, man, dude, if this is only a little bit more like Diablo, this would be amazing. Or oh man, dude, like they literally set the fucking bar for me. And mm -hmm. then there were so many times where I'd be like, oh man, dude, if this was like multiplayer and a little bit like fucking Diablo, this would be great. And then they made us like a console version of Diablo, and Diablo three wasn't bad. It was good. It, it was all right. Diablo 4 looks very promising. I'm actually really excited for Diablo 4. I mean, they fucking gave us a goddamn nine-minute teaser trailer the first time they announced it. So that's that's a lot of fucking game time we got right there. Well, I mean, you actually didn't see any gameplay. It was all cinematic, which is even more crazy to think, a fucking nine-minute cinematic. But uh, it was fucking good. It was good. So I'm, I'm super fucking pumped about it. Um, yeah, because I'm... That would be one that I'm I, I'm going to try to figure out exactly how they're going to do it. And then we're going to fucking have to fucking get you on there. And fucking, you, you would you would like Diablo. The way the, the, the whole RPG aspect of it, you would like Diablo. I'll play Diablo when you play Mass Effect. <sighs> That's rude. Um, I have been That's very clear. Rude. You would fucking love Mass Effect if you would give it a goddamn chance. That's rude. But Here you I am. Because you're a dick. Here I am. Look, there's a difference, right? There is not. You're on there your is. side, therefore you're the going to pretend there's is. a difference. I want none of your nonsense. You keep it to yourself. The difference is, is that nope. your game mm -hmm. has decided to make a shitty nope. version of it and it has nope. not done anything to right its wrongs to where the games nope. that I play have not done that yet. So. Nope. 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 I want none of your nonsense. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Kelsey loves Andromeda. It's 100% her favorite game of all time. I will fight you. Best thing that's ever happened lose, to her. I will lose, but I will fight you. Best thing that has ever happened to her, hands down. Nope. Mass Effect Okay, Andromeda. that's not, not true, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> like, basically, what you just said was... I'm getting you an Andromeda well, poster. Final Fantasy IX <laughs> had problems, therefore I will never play Final Fantasy VII. Like... Andromeda has nothing to do with Mass Effect. Mm. It doesn't. I don't you want. Games, I don't want know. to agree with the amount of logic that you just shot at me uh. right now. Because that <laughs> that that was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That, that was pretty yes. good. I will take that. <laughs> I was like, fuck, that made sense. <laughs> <laughs> she used my language. Fuck. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. That's funny. Oh, yeah. What are you next, Chris? I don't know. I'm just. I'm. I'm ready for this weekend. I feel like it's been a long week. I'm just drained. It's been a long oh, fucking sorry. week. Just, uh, we're going under mask lockdown again in yep. Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so things are busy, and it's just been a long, long fucking week. And then on top of that, I fucking, I'm trying to get more productive whenever it comes to like my streams and stuff. So I ended up, my streaks app that I use for Dead Funny, um, it has a two page aspect. So it's like the first page is all my Dead Funny stuff. And mm -hmm. I didn't know this and I just found this out. So now my second page is all my, my, my streaming stuff. And so I put stuff on there like three times a week. I have to do a solo stream. One time a week I have to do a, a, a collab stream. Um, you know, make sure that I'm actually active in my Discord two times a day, active on my Twitter two times a day, researching new ideas for my stream once a week. Yeah. Oof. 
Yeah. So, I mean, do you, and then on top do you of that, give yourself like relaxation and step back time because that's I sleep, important too. When I sleep, that's probably no. not enough. No, I mean I'm not I'm not to that point for sure. Because I mean, if you think about it, like for instance, we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? So on Thursday we got the podcast. Thank you for explaining the weekdays to me. You're welcome. So on Thursday, it's like we got the podcast, right? So it's like, all right, cool. So now I just got to make sure that, that gets edited since we're on the hiatus where I'm not on Dent Funny University and kind of really don't have anything else going on right now besides the gameplays that we're uploading. So, and those are already part of my stream. So so then it's like, I've got all these days that are technically free because normally I do my edits on Sunday, but now I'm getting to the point where I just edit the stuff as soon as I get done and then just fucking, mm-hmm. it, it's done. So like as soon as we get done with this, I'll edit this, and I probably have that and the next fucking Final Fantasy Friday uploaded as well. So then it's just done. I don't have to fucking worry about it. And um, <clears throat> so you have that, and then it's like I have all these days that are free. So it's like then cool. I fit in three days where I do a solo stream, one day where I do a collab stream, um, and stuff like that. I, I mean, I'm trying not to overwork myself because I am trying to keep myself open for more collab projects. Because that's more of what I'm trying to do. I've been talking to a lot of different streamers and a lot of different YouTubers and stuff like that about you know different kind of collab projects, and I'm trying to keep myself available uh, mm-hmm. for stuff like that. For instance, like I know there's you know little games and stuff that they do on Dark Star now, and I've already said that you know I'd come and do some of those too, which would be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I got some streamers that you know kind of want to do some collab projects with me, which is awesome. So it's just trying to keep myself open, but yeah, it's just like I said, it's just been a busy week. Work related wise. Yeah, it's just sounds been like that overworking busy. that you're trying to avoid may be affecting you a little bit. A tad. A tad. I use a lot more vacation than I thought I did. So, I'm not out of vacation, but I don't have enough to. I, like, I was literally talking to my street the other day. I was like, I'd like to just take like a week off and just fucking be done. But if I do that, I literally won't have any time left. But on the bright side of that, though, with how much I love working remote. It's pretty much been told to us at this point that we're not going to be back in the office until at least next year. So, at the earliest. Which that makes a lot of sense. I'm okay with, like, 100% okay with. I so. Yeah, I would absolutely prefer to not return to the office until earliest next calendar year. Yep, it is, uh, it is a situation, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I've got, I've got immunocompromised people that I've got that are either connected to me or connected to people that I spend a lot of time with. And so mm-hmm. it's important to me that I get this spreads really fast. So. Oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, I completely understand. I mean, help me in general. I got a fucking baby on the way, so <laughs> I have to be yeah. extremely fucking careful. So I'm not even a fan of fucking going out and doing, you know, fucking grocery shop runs, honestly, at this fucking point. Shit, and yeah. a lot of the times I just run down to the fucking local quick trip because it's like fucking, it, it, I can get all my basic essentials there, milk, bread, meat, whatever, and they mm-hmm. let 20 people in maximum versus going to a grocery store where there's going to be hundreds of people in there, and it's like, fuck. Yep. Yeah. So, it is a different world these days, but yeah. So that's kind of why I'm just, like, drained. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking get all pepped up. I'm excited for this weekend. I'll put it that way. We got our... Our Overwatch date, and then yeah. the night after that, we've got fucking, well, not we, but I've got fucking Destiny Raid. I've actually been having a lot of fun with the Destiny Raids, so I'm super, super fucking pumped about that. Even though I hate Destiny and, and, and Bungie to the deepest core of, of my body, but the raid has been fucking fun. I wish you could have fucking heard it, because um, Tony's actually uploading them. I'm going to see if uh, they'd be cool with me streaming. I don't know why they wouldn't, but he's starting to like actually upload them. And um, my raid team is me, Tony, his cousin Steven, uh, Joey, and then uh, two people that I don't know. Like, it was randoms they found on, like, LFG. You know what LFG is? Uh-huh. Okay. No. So, uh, looking for groups. So, that every game oh. that you play, like, even Overwatch has an LFG website where you're looking for, and you can be, like, looking for a tank or looking for whatever. And then people respond to that, and then they jump in your game and da 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 and so forth. So, got it. A looking for system if you don't want to just go, you know, rando and shit like that. Especially mm-hmm. with the old way Overwatch was where you could actually just switch to whatever class you wanted to and you weren't deadlocked into a category. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> it was one of those situations where um, they had found two guys off there. Well, they had found three, and I guess one of them was having fucking off- offline problems as far as like actually showing up and. Uh, 
I, I don't know the full extent to it, so I'm not going to act like I do. But anyways, they ended up parting ways with him. I don't know if he started it or they started it. And then that's how I got brought onto the team. And um, it's been a lot of fun. It's really been fun going through these raids again. I mean, I, I love the aspect of I'm going to sit down, play a raid, and probably not beat this tonight and probably play for six hours. And that's because we have no idea what's going on at all. And we don't know how to do anything. Like, that's just fun to me. Figuring that shit out. Trying to understand it. The trial and error behind it. Everybody having jobs. Knowing if you fuck up your job, it's probably going to fuck the entire team up. Especially early on when people don't know what they're doing. So they really can't give you the bandwidth to focus on your side to help you out if you're getting overrun or something like that. And there's so much shit to focus on sometimes in these fucking raids. It's fucking mind-blowing. Like, the last one we did... When we were doing just the boss, just the boss alone, was you had the map was split up in three sections. So we were doing teams of two. One of your people has the witch's blessing, which only lasts for 30 minutes or 30 seconds. While they have that, they can shoot enemies that you can't hurt. And then you shoot enemies that they can't hurt. So they, 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 the enemies look weird to you and you just don't fuck with them. You go kill the other ones, right? So it's like, all right, cool. That seems easy enough. Also, every 30 seconds, a fucking crystal spawns randomly in your spot, and it rotates. So it goes from our spot to the next first spot to the next first spot, and it just keeps rotating. If you don't kill the crystal within 10 seconds, it wipes the entire team. Everybody dies. You gotta jump up and break oh, the crystal. shit. If you forget to lose the buff, so there's a spot in the very back that you go to, and it's got this big-ass big orb. You both have to stand in there and shoot the orb, and then it transfers Witch's Blessing from that person to you. And then you get the restarted timer. If you forget to do that, it kills you. <clears throat> Which is buff kills you. Meanwhile, everybody has a gigantic, like, 20-story version of the boss behind them that's just shooting at you the whole time that you cannot attack whatsoever. On top of that, you have special shit that pops out that you have to keep in mind of whenever it pops out that you have to go kill it instantly. And this is just one section. That we had to figure all this out, these rotations, how to do this correctly, like all this shit we had to figure out. Like, and it, it's fucking nuts. It's it's absolutely crazy. Oh my god. And that's just like I said, one little second. And that's just the first section to start the boss room. That's not even like we're we haven't even done damage to the boss at this point. And that whole thing lasts for like probably get, twenty minutes. Doing that constantly. Once you get that first one done. So let's say you get through that and you're into the next room. When you fail at the next room, because it's going to happen at some point, mm -hmm. do you have to go back and do both no. rooms? Or oh, thank but, God! <laughs> but there's there's perks to do that though. So every week it resets. Mm -hmm. So you get reset at the beginning at the next week, but so does the loot. So then you can pick up the loot again, and raid gear is always the strongest shit that's out there. So you're gonna get good gear every time you go through the room again, as long as you don't do it the same time in a week. So. So you have a week to continue off that progress, and then once the reset hits, you start back at square one, but you also get new loot for doing it as well. So the rewards okay. are there. So there's times where, like, for instance, this weekend, we won't be able to do a full-on raid because our six won't actually be there. And so since we can't do an actual full-on raid, we're just going to go through and do the parts of the raid that because we made it all the way to the final boss on the newest raid that just came out. So we're going to go back, do all the rooms leading up to him, so we get the loot, and then when we get to him, we're just going to jump out and go do some other raids that we've already done before because our six isn't here. Like, we physically cannot move forward without the entire team being there. All six of us have to be there. So that's the one pack that we or the two packs that we have. All six of us have to be there to move through an entire raid, a new one that we haven't done. And then the second one is, is you are not allowed to look anything up. Even if we're all fucking frustrated as fuck, trying to figure this shit out we are not allowed to look anything up like this last mini boss that we just got past probably took a total of three weeks for us to fucking figure it out on how to get past it i mean once again we only raid one one day a week so we literally have like we get on at eight and we probably play to like one maybe two o'clock in the morning <clears throat> sometimes until your rage midnight. actually drives you away from each other uh just people fucking want to get off stuff like that more not more like rage yeah. just, just work you know people have odd ske odd schedules all the time so yeah. To where I don't have work on the weekends. It's me. I'm just like, oh, fuck it, dude. Let's do it. Let's fucking get it. You know, like me. I'm. <laughs> it was actually funny. The last time I was, I was drinking and we were playing. And uh, uh, my girlfriend was like, oh, are you going to drink some of the Maker's Mark that you just bought? And I was like, 
I still have to be able to function. <laughs> like, <laughs> so <laughs> no, <laughs> so no. For that, I'm more do like the fruitier drinks, like the fucking wine coolers and shit like that. Something that I can drink, taste good, and will get me buzz sooner or later after I drink like an entire six pack. But that's as far as I'm gonna get, because then I can still comprehend and do what I need to do. If I'm fucking drinking three glasses of whiskey straight, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. be shit, and then I'm gonna be letting them down the entire time. And it's like that just wasted. You know that weekend to possibly that move whole week yeah. exactly exactly so it's like that's kind of a dick move to do <laughs> so but yeah no I'm excited for that that's gonna be a lot of fun like I said I've had I've had a lot of fun doing these fucking raids and shit again it's been awesome but we were doing this last boss and it was funny because uh, Steven I love the guy to death he's fucking hilarious and um, we're fucking playing and it was like he was he was tired because he had like a long day at work. Or no, he was doing a bachelor party, so he was out fucking playing paintball. He he was the person that set up the bachelor party. He was out doing paintball like all day, and so he's like just fucking dead beat tired. Went to work, then went did the whole paintball thing, and uh, you could tell he's like somewhat falling asleep. And then we finally beat that that little boss that I was telling you about. It took us a while to figure it out, and like he was just a like cloud nine. Like all that adrenaline came back in. We were all fucking happy as fuck. So then we get to the last boss, and it was like with every wipe, he was going down a level. Like we got there on a ten. Then he went down to a nine, then an eight, then a seven, and he just keeps going down. It's one of those things where it's like you feel bad, but it's fucking funny. You don't want to <laughs> laugh, but it's fucking hilarious. And so, like, me and Joey are fucking laughing, or we're trying not to. And, like, Tony's like, how about, Steven, instead of me going through first, you go through the portal first. And so he was just like, whatever, doesn't fucking matter. Whatever's in there is going to fucking kill me anyway. <laughs> Oh my god, I was like, no way. Uh, I mean, to be fair, we're doing these raids, and me and Steven are like low levels. We're really not supposed to be doing some of this shit. So it's already harder for us, but it was just funny because, I mean, we, we try to use it like a fucking team and shit like that. And I, I don't like bringing it up, but sometimes I have to bring it up because, like, it's like the other day we were trying to make a plan, and we're like, we got to split into two teams of three. And Tony's like, so you, Steven, and me will be on this side, and then Joey, Dead, and Kirk will be on the other side. And I was like, Shouldn't we, like, put me and Steven on opposite sides? I mean, we are, like, the yeah. two lowest. Like, that would probably make a little bit more sense. So that way, in case we get overrun, you don't have, like, these fucking characters over here that can barely do shit. I mean, to be fair, we do a lot more than I, I fucking make it out to be. But it just makes more sense. I mean, they're all, like, 1,100 yeah. light level, and me and Steven are, like, 950. It's, like, mm -hmm. there's a clear difference. So... Yeah, but it's been a lot of fun. I've been, I've been, I've been enjoying myself. It's, it's a lot to get used to. A lot has changed in the game since I've been gone. There's this shit like armor mods and shit now, and I've barely even gotten into that. I mean, I'm just trying to get past the fact of like I have to get rid of like all my old armor that I loved because it's just I can upgrade it to season two, but it doesn't give it like armor mods. So then it's mm -hmm. like no matter what the armor that I'm using is just never going to be worth it. So now I have to fucking like I don't know. That upset me. I really like the armor that I fucking had. It looked really fucking badass. But it's like, yeah, you just can't keep it forever anyway. So that's what it is. So now I gotta yeah, start looking at new just armor. Just gotta get get rid of it. Get something better. Well, then it sucked though. Is that like I had all this raid gear on me, and I was you know for purely for cosmetic reasons, I was like, oh, I'll switch this all over to my old armor, and then I'll just imbue that raid gear into my old armor, so that way I get the power from it. But I get to keep my looks, and then I did that, and then it was like, oh, by the way, you can't fucking put mods in fucking like season one shit, and I was like fuck so but i worked so hard for this oh well now i don't have an option i have to wear my season one shit until we raid again so i can get new gear to actually wear because at this point i have nothing now i literally don't even have an option i have to wear this shit now so because i fucking put it all into my fucking old armor so that way i had levels so yeah yep. i kind of fucked myself on that one but eh, you know it is what it is it fucking happens but yeah like i said it's just been a long week but we'll be better we'll get there one day at a time. We're getting there. I believe in you. You'll I saw, make it. I saw the other day somebody was talking about what's the best way to get somebody to watch an anime. And the reason why I want to bring this up is because of what you said. They're all like, you literally basically just have to grab the person and then just turn it on. And that's literally yes, what no, you said. <laughs> that is absolutely In order for me to get you it. to fucking watch My Hero Academia, you're like, you're just going to have to. I'm going to have to be at your house. You're just going to be like, I'm putting on season one. And then boom, yeah. done. And I was like, That will work. Funny. And then, one question I wanted to ask you before we wrap this up here, uh, because I thought about I was playing Spider-Man. I was like, this would be a good podcast question. You know, it's just you. But we'll ask it anyway. Do you think 
that Spider-Man, one, still freaks out, and two, feels guilty about killing spiders that just randomly show up in the apartment. You know, like, if he's just walking around, like, oh, shit, a spider. Do you think he still kills spiders? <sighs> and do you think he feels no. guilty? I, I don't think he kills spiders. I don't think he does it. No? You don't think so? You think it gave him, like, a newfound... Even if he's, like, in his apartment, all of a sudden there's, like, a black widow, and he's like, oh, cool, you know, I'll just let you fucking live here. No, I absolutely see him being, like, the, like, I'll get a tube, I'll, like, usher it out if I need to. Think so, huh? Mm. Yeah, I don't think he kills spiders. I don't think he does it. Hmm. In fact, he may not kill insects anymore, either, now that he's discovered, like, Ant-Man exists. (laughs) Ant-Man exists. Ant-Man and Wasp and Yellow Jacket. All of them. Get in there. And yellow jacket, because that's definitely... Oh, God. That's 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 Ant-Man. I know, but yellow jacket's a, just a... It's a wasp. I know. I know, it's funny. It's great. That's it's like... F- <laughs> right before he gave up. It's funny. Laugh, Kelsey. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I've always had my issues with yellow jacket. It was like, Ant-Man wanted to leave the Avengers, and then he didn't want to, but he already gave his suit away. And so now he's the yellow jacket. And I was like, dude, just, just, just stop. Like you, you clearly don't want to be an Avenger anymore. Just fucking stop. He was, he was coming to guilt still with the fucking fact that he helped create Ultron. So he was just like, yeah, I, I don't know if I can do this, which is fair. Uh, yeah. I mean, Ultron is. I mean, feelings legit. about that. That's legit. Ultron's fucking legit. Oh well, is what it is. Well. As we go to wrap up here, last thing I wanted to point out, totally upgraded all my characters in Final Fantasy 1, by the way, which I didn't know was a thing, but I got this item, and Bahamut blessed me as a god, and he upgraded all my characters, and they all look different now, which is awesome, and my black mage looks like Vivi. He's got the little pantaloons Aww. and everything, only they're a different color, instead of green stripes or yellow stripes, but it's fucking, I was so excited, so like, whenever that video hits YouTube, which will be a while away, um, <laughs> I still have like two stream gameplays that I'm dissecting into fucking videos and I think I'm probably going to be able to get like three or four episodes out of that before I even get to this one which I have to take my time like I can't upload anything to a different source 48 hours after I stream I have to wait 48 hours because I'm an affiliate it's in my contract so got I could it get, yeah yeah I could get banned and lose all my rights to stream if I did that so that's well, why I, it's even that. better to piece it up. Yeah. I mean, it makes more sense to piece it up anyway. I don't want to upload like a fucking two and a half hour fucking video or like last night I streamed for four hours and 45 Oof. minutes. Like, I'm yeah, not that's a while. upload that entire fucking playthrough to fucking YouTube. It just doesn't make sense. My fucking computer's going to be sitting there like, dude, fucking, there's no upload. Fuck. Where's my upload speed at? But yeah, no, I'm not going to fucking do that. But yeah, no, I was super excited because I was freaking out. I was like, oh, look, they all look so cool. And I was like, oh, he almost looks like a baby. Because fucking Final Fantasy IX's anniversary was Tuesday? Yeah, 20 years. 20 years since that game came out. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of people showing off all their VV tattoos and shit. I was like, dude, they went hard in the paint for this character. For sure. <laughs> but he's the shit. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, turn on the notification. That way you get notified next time we upload another video. Hit us in the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts on some of the subjects that we talked about, especially... My question about Spider-Man. I want to know thoughts, people. All right, does Spider-Man kill spiders? And if he no, does, he doesn't. Does he feel guilty about it? All right. He probably keeps his know. pets. I want to. I doubt that. I want. To, but imagine living with Mary Jane. There's no way Mary Jane's okay with the spiders. You know what I mean? And let's say she's. Well, doesn't uh, she know in canon? Yeah, she knows who he is, but that doesn't mean that she has to like spiders. I mean, think about. It. Do you? Well, fucking. You, you. You like spiders. You're okay. With I was gonna say spiders. we just talked about this. But, Anyways, but there are girls that don't like spiders, just like there's guys that don't like spiders. And then there's girls who want the boyfriends to kill the spiders. And sometimes there's boyfriends that want the girlfriends to kill the spiders. What if she is one of those girlfriends that wants the boyfriend to kill the spider? Is Spider-Man just going to be like, no? He's a relative? Like, no. That's I not how absolutely it works. see him being like, yes, dear. And then getting a tube and ushering it out and trying to do it without her seeing it. 100%. Oh. Comment section, let us know your thoughts. I want like a hashtag Team Chris. Spider Man kills spiders and he's guilty. That, that wouldn't that be like a form that would that would have to be a form of murder for him. He got put on spider spider trial. Yeah, that's why he spider jail. do it. Yeah, and now yeah, because that's his people now. Like he's half them. That's his people. You can't just You're kill. You're just your supporting people. my argument. Yeah, but I think he does it though. I think Spider Man might be New York City's biggest hero. But New York City Spider's biggest villain. 
I'm, I'm cracking the fucking J. Jonah Jameson right now. That motherfucker goes off in that game, by the way. The amount of times that he accused me of eating pigeons was crazy. Yeah, because there's, like, so many side quests where you had to do stuff for, like, for instance, like, the pigeons are, they have this, like, crazy fucking flu that they're trying to spread around the city. They don't know it. And so you have to sit there and go and fucking get the shit from Harry and feed it to him, and then it ends up getting the flu away from him, and then you're good to go. So first he's like, oh, he's stalking pigeons. And remember the fucking, the story about the pigeon and the spider, da-da-da-da-da? And he's like, how do we know that he's not, like, doing weird things to these pigeons? And then after that, like, this homeless guy lost the house that he was living in and he fucking trained pigeons for a living and all of his pigeons were around New York City so you had to go and like web sling them all up together and bring them to him and so he had all of his pigeons back because they couldn't find him and then J. Jonah Jameson's like he's eating them he's eating them we always thought he was Spider-Man but how do we know he's not a man spider how do we know it's not the other way around where it was a spider that became a man versus a man that became part of a spider and he's got this 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 taste for pigeons so like he literally had people thinking like I was eating pigeons there was people coming on the show talking about the fact that I was probably eating pigeons. It was crazy. It was crazy. I did not see that coming. Yeah. That game's brutal. Like, those little, like, little crime things that pop up randomly, and it's like, you can go do them and get a crime token or whatever, you know, it's like, oh, fucking, we got this car on the run. We need help. All those responding officers show up here. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Like, if you choose not to do those, they become a guest on J. Jonah Jameson's show the next day. So, like, there was this robbery that was in progress, and I was in the middle of chasing someone down. And I was like, fuck it, I'll come back for it. And I didn't know that once I left the division, the, the little section of that city, it disappeared. And so, like, I went and did that, and I came back, and I couldn't find it. And then the next day, she's like, yeah, and I always see Spider-Man around. She's like, but I work in a little old flower shop, and I guess that, that that's not important enough for him to come. And, and Jay jumps to James, she's like, yes, exactly. He only cares about big, big stuff. He doesn't care about your little flower shop. And I was like, oh, wow, I feel like a dick. I was like, I totally, <laughs> I've web slung right fucking past that shop. And I was like, nope, sorry, I gotta go to this real quick. I was like, I'll be right back. You know, and she was, she was, she was a Spider-Man hater the next day on the show. She's like, and I moved my shop to the city because I see Spider-Man around here all the time. And he even came by that day and he just chose not to help. And I was like, <laughs> that happened. That one, she is 100% accurate. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. And I am the <laughs> Exactly, exactly. But anyways, we have our Twitters and our Twitches down there as well. If you want to come by and watch people play some video games. Also, you know, have more of a direct form of communication to holler at us on. But at the end of all this, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And we'll see you next time.